Hi everyone, this video is designed to take a quick look at hydrocarbons, that is, uh, compounds that are made exclusively of the elements hydrogen and carbon. We talked a lot about these um, in a previous unit, but just wanted to review the basics of how we can classify, draw, and describe hydrocarbons. So first and foremost, we can classify almost all hydrocarbons as one of three classes of molecules, alkanes, alkenes, or alkynes. And our classification is dependent on the type of bond that we find between the carbon atoms in each of these types of molecules. Alkanes are defined by having exclusively single bonds between their carbon atoms. So when we fill in the uh, missing hydrogen so that each carbon has four bonds, we find that it is completely full of hydrogen surrounding our carbon atoms in a ratio such that for every carbon, there are two N plus two hydrogens. So in this example here, I've got three carbons and I have two times three, six plus two, eight hydrogens. We call this a saturated hydrocarbon because it is full of hydrogen. There's as much hydrogen in there as possible, all right? Our second class of hydrocarbon is the alkene. And an alkene is defined by having one double bond between its carbon atoms. So when we go through and fill in the remaining hydrogens, such that every carbon has four bonds, what we find is that carbon and hydrogen are now in a ratio of one to two. So in this molecule, we have three carbons and two times three, six hydrogens. Alkynes are a third class of hydrocarbon, and they're defined by having a triple bond between carbon atoms. So when I go through and fill in the missing hydrogens, what I find is that my middle carbon actually already has all four bonds extending from it, and this last carbon needs one more hydrogen, resulting in a general ratio that for every carbon, I have 2n minus 2 hydrogen. So here I've got three carbons and two times three is six minus two is four hydrogens coming off on the outside. Both alkenes and alkynes can be described as unsaturated hydrocarbons because they are not full of hydrogens. It kind of looks like there are these empty spaces above and below the carbons where hydrogens could have gone but didn't because each carbon already had its maximum number of bonds. So when we describe a molecule as saturated or unsaturated, what we're referring to is, does it have all single bonds? Is it an alkane? That means it's saturated. Or does it have at least one multiple bond, double or triple? If so, then it is unsaturated. And we can use these general ideas of bonding and saturation to very quickly draw and figure out what class of molecule a hydrocarbon belongs to. So in this first example, we've got C5H12. And you can go ahead and try and draw that. Put five carbons along in a chain, initially connect with single bonds, and then try and fill in hydrogens and see if you have an appropriate amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What I find here is that I've got enough hydrogens to create a molecule that contains only single bonds, making it an alkane. And this makes sense because the alkane's general formula, like we said before, oops, is CnH2n plus 2. And C5H12 fits that general formula. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So without even drawing the molecule, you can go straight to this general formula and figure out if it's going to have double, single, or triple bonds. Same deal goes for the C4H6. What I see right off the bat is that 6 is less than double 4. And you can kind of think of doubling it as your middleman. If it's more than double, it must have single bonds. If it's less than double, we're in alkyne territory, CnH2n minus two. So what this tells me about this molecule is when I try and draw it out, somewhere in that molecule, I need to have a triple bond. We don't know exactly where because the formula can't specify that for us as written, 
But when I go in and I fill in my missing hydrogens, sure enough, there are just six of them. There are multiple ways you could draw this uh, molecule because it didn't specify. You could have gone and put your triple bond at the very beginning. In the next video, we'll talk about naming compounds and why these two aren't exactly the same, but in fact are isomers. So hopefully this helps with identifying which class of hydrocarbon you have, using formulas to create structures, and using general formulas to help you identify whether you have an alkane, alkene, or alkyne.